Welcome back everybody to Empyrean Galactic Survival Alpha 8.3. This is an old guy gaming and we're going to continue our adventure here on the planet Enaz, the ice planet Enaz. Okay, so uh, let's see, the plan is going to be that uh, we're going to we're going to take the JJ back out um, and we're going to clear the two spots that I'm planning on uh, getting south from. So this, this is a spot here. Um, and then this spot over here, right here, uh, is also, cl uh, those are the two spots that I found that do are not within range of a POI. Now we have two other spots here, If in case you didn't see my last episode, that um, also, uh, that are in range of POIs, but we might be able to get to if we kind of, you know, burrow uh, underground uh, just out of range of the guns, I'm not sure. But I think what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the two uh, that are, are safer to hit first, uh, we're also going to hit that Neo Deposit, and probably could even do this one too, because I don't think the Ruins has any guns. Um, you know, just kind of clear the drones away from those places. We'll come back here, we'll park the J-Jet inside of the trading station, and then we'll spawn in the Ladybug and go hit those those areas, okay? Now, I, was, I, I took the tail fin off of here. Um, oh, for Pete's sake. I took the uh, the tail pin off here because I couldn't fit through the door, but then I realized that the side wings are <laughs> also preventing me from fitting through the door. So we're going to have to take uh, those off too. But let's do that when we come back uh, after we clear the areas. And I'm just going to leave the tail fin off. I know it's um looks a little silly, but we don't actually need it to fly here. Uh, so let's just go back to these deposits here. Let's make sure they're clear of as many drones as possible. I do realize that by the time we get back there, there may be new drones, but I did bring uh, one of the hover turrets that we're going to put on the ladybug if we need to, to help defend against uh, any drone attacks, okay? So this is, um, yeah, that's the deposit that's within range of that POI right there. This one here, though, cleared the drones out of here yesterday it does not look like they have respawned which is a good thing so we'll go ahead and say that that one's clear now let's go back to this other deposit um, I think it's gonna be quicker well I don't know that's a that's might be quicker to actually fly this direction it's probably about six and one half dozen. Uh, can't talk. Half a dozen of the other, to be honest with you. Uh, you know what? Yeah, what the hell? Let's fly this way. Well, on second thought, though. On second thought, we we also want to make sure this guy's clear. So yeah, let's just let's just uh, fly west. We'll just keep a westerly heading. According though to that bookmark. See, that Neo deposit is 7K, and that's 7, 7K. Yeah, it, it's really almost 6, 1 half this yet. So let's just go this way. So we're going to clear this Neo deposit over here. We'll clear that other SAF deposit, and then we'll come back, okay? Um, I'm going to cut the camera here until I get over there. And uh, once we find some drones, I'll, I'll bring you back, and I'll, you can watch me shoot the drones, loot them, and then we'll go from there, okay? Be back in a sec. So... Just when I turned the camera off, I found a very large cobalt deposit and two large sapping deposits with no POIs around. Woot woot. I think this is going to change things up for us a little bit, guys. I do. I think what we're going to do is we're going to cream these drones down here. And now uh, we're going to go after these because they're a lot closer. No POIs to worry about. Let's just get these drones out of the way. Uh, I think I'm going to turn off the text so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Let me turn the game sound down just a touch. These guys are trying to get some altitude so they can get within range of the guns, but we're not going to let them. Okay, he's down. And then we saw a drone up this way too. Let's turn the, um, uh, the text back on. Okay, he's way up that way. There's two drones up here. Okay, so let's take them out too. Okay, he's down. 
plasma drone and a rocket. Beautiful. Yeah, this is, I, for whatever reason, I, I missed these, obviously, uh, when we were scouting the last time, so that's a nice find, though. Two right next to each other, exactly what we wanted, no POIs nearby, uh, and very close, really, relatively speaking, to the admin station, too, so that's sweet. Okay, let's loot these guys really quick, and then we're going to head back and get the ladybug out and hit these uh, deposits. I don't even think I'm going to go to that other one. Do we have another live drone, or is that just the guys that are down? Oh, we do have live drones. Oop. Okay, let's get these guys. I'm glad I checked. I saw the little red arrow behind me, and I'm going, hmm, that looks suspicious. More drones. My goodness. There, let's hit this minigun first. Okay, he's out of the way. Man, they're like just coming out in force, aren't they? Another one over there too. He's going the other way, though. But I'd rather kill these guys in the J jet than uh, from the the hovercraft. It's just safer to do it that way. Okay. Is there any other? Are there any other drones in this vicinity that we need to be concerned about? I don't see them. Let's pop down and grab this one real quick, and then we'll go get those others before they despawn. Else. Okay, we'll take those. Alright, let's go back this way. I'm not going to worry about the ones in the water. It's not worth the effort. <laughs> but we'll see if we can... If these guys are still down that we blew up, we'll see if we can get them before they despawn. Honestly, I'm not that worried about it, but why not? They're right here. So let's do it. There are um, ice golems on this planet too. In fact, there's one right there. So these are probably about the same scenario, I'm guessing, as the uh, the desert golems. What's this? Natural stimulant? Nah, we don't need any of that stuff. And then we have a plasma drone over this way. We'll get him. I kind of like this planet, actually. I do, I do. Looks like we had got some um, plasma cannon ammo and some more fuel. Those are just corn dogs. Yeah, okay. All right, this is awesome. This is awesome. Two large deposits. And you know what? We're going to hit that large, extra large, or very large, rather, uh, cobalt, too, because why not, right? Why not? All right, let's head back to the admin station. And then we will proceed from there. It's just right over here, so I might as well just keep you with me. If all goes well... You know, and, and we don't have any disastrous issues. We should come back with a pretty nice load of Sathium by the time this is done. We'll even have a little Neo, too. And some Cobalt. And some Cobalt. I don't think I'll bother hitting the stuff, you know, the, the basic ores that we can, you know, easily get back on, you know, uh, Kendor. Uh, let's not push our luck, because we do have a patrol vessel, right? And it could be potentially even coming after us right now, so... We won't. We don't want to get greedy. The sathium is the main thing, and we we will need more neo too. So we are going to grab that. And um, I am tempted to try that cobalt deposit though, really, because um, oh shit, you know what? It's not going to let me use my my thing uh, that close to the trade station. That's kind of. I mean, I understand why they do it, but I don't know. It's a pain in the butt. You should be able to use the multi-tool on your own property, I think. 
Okay, so um, let's get this guy up. We're just going to pull the wings off for now. So that we can actually squeeze through the door. <laughs> I don't want to leave this thing parked outside, not with a patrol vessel on this planet. Now it's just a flying tube. Here, let's get in. There we go. Excellent. This is actually pretty good. Um, I mean, because now, you know, our ship's going to be safe. And we don't have to worry about it getting pounded by the planetary vessel. All right, let's hit the uh, turn the thrusters off. Can't talk. Thrusters off. Let's fill this back up just so it's full. Um, I'm gonna put my wings. We're just gonna store the wings in here. Uh, in fact, we might as well store all this stuff in here that uh, we don't need to take with us. The Gatling guns. Two Gatling guns. Wow. Why do I have two Gatling guns in my inventory? I don't know. I'm not sure why I have two Gatling guns in my inventory. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm sure there's a reason, I just don't know what that reason is. Uh, no point in taking the Pentaxid with us. Um, we do want to take the fuel with us, though, uh, for the Ladybug. Probably don't need all of that, though. Let's take, let's take 45. Uh, let's see, we want to keep the, all of this stuff. This is going to go in for the turret. Then you got around. We don't need to take that, that stuff with us either. Uh, steel blocks. Yeah, we can take those with us. Okay, I think that's it. I think we're good to go. So let's hop out of here. Let's close this door. And we're probably going to have to run. Um, can't access cargo box. Okay. We're probably going to have to run out a ways from here to spawn in the ladybug but this is good now um this station should have a spawn point in case the worst happens and i actually bite the dust um it should have a spawn point for us so let's just get a little ways out in the field here away from the admin station we'll go ahead and spawn in the ladybug we'll put the lasing uh, lasing laser miners on it the Gatling gun loaded up, and then we should be good to rock and roll. Will it let me spawn it right here? Uh, no, probably because we're still too close to the station. So let's just keep walking this way. Uh, we did have a critter over there that will attack us if we're not careful. I hope it's going to actually let me spawn it. It did in Alpha 7. This is the first time I tried this in Alpha 8. I'm going to be a little bit ticked off if it doesn't let me do it here. We might, if it, if that's the case, we might have to actually set up a, a little little pad to spawn it on. But before it would just let me spawn it just anywhere. So I'm hoping it's just because I'm still a little too close to the admin station. So we'll keep running out this way. All right, it disappeared for some reason. Is that guy not going to attack me, or am I just not in his range yet? Usually they would have come after me by now. Uh, okay, let's go this way. Yeah, plan B will be if, I mean, if, if it doesn't let me spawn it at all, we'll actually have to set up a little base outpost. Oh, here he comes. Dude, I would have left you alone if you would have left me alone. It gave me zero choice, though. That meat's probably going to spoil it before you have a chance to use it, so. Alright, let's go over here. This guy's going to attack us too, so we'll have to take him out. It's kind of too bad in a way, though, that different critters don't have... Um, oh, crap. We forgot Oxy. All right, shoot. I didn't want to have to use these, but I have no choice. All right, let's see if we can get the the uh, thing spawned in, and then we'll just drive back to the 
the admin station. Shit, it's still not going to let me do it. I got to be far enough away now. All right, well, I guess I guess we have to make a base, you guys. And by base, I mean a very, very basic, <laughs> like, landing pad type of thing. Uh, just so we can spawn this thing in. It used to let me do that in Alpha 8. I could just plop it down anywhere, and I didn't need a pad. But apparently, that's no longer the case. Which kind of sucks. Okay, let's head on back. Yeah, what I was saying is it's kind of too bad that, um, you know, with the the different types of critters that you still don't get a variety of stuff. It just, I don't know, it kind of makes just hunting them a little boring, I guess. It is nice, and it is convenient to, you know, have stuff more generalized. I, I certainly uh, acknowledge that, but I still think that um, I kind of like the variety in the old way a little more. But it's alright. We might as well pop this guy too. Over here, dummy. Hello. He doesn't even know where it's coming from. <laughs> Shoot him in the booty. All right. Well, let's get back to the base. We will um. I'll make up a core in my ship's uh, constructor, and uh, I might even have to mine up a little bit of stone to make the blocks. I don't know. We'll see. And then uh, once I'm done with that, I will bring you guys back. All right, guys, we're back. Um, for me, it's actually a day later. Um, <clears throat> but what I had to do is I had to go uh, back to... Uh, the planet back to Kendor and get all the stuff I needed to, to make a base because I didn't even have a, enough stuff to make a core in my uh, constructor on the J jet so what I went ahead and did is I just went all the way back and just made enough stuff to actually build a, an outpost here on this planet now there's plenty of sapium and Neo around I, I think it probably was, is just worth it to do that so what we're gonna do is we're going to um, build ourselves a little outpost close to the base here. In fact, as close to the base uh, as possible. Um, it's not going to be anything fancy, and it's probably going to just be an underground job, uh, mostly because, uh, you know, we've got that planetary vessel to deal with, and I don't want to, um, you know, I don't have the equipment or the time or the desire uh, to build something that's going to be able to withstand an assault from that thing. So what we're going to do is we're basically just going to go bore a hole into the mountain over here and just set up a really uh, a real basic base um, and and also uh, you know enough of a landing pad that we can actually spawn in the, uh, the ladybug okay we might actually kind of come up and through here this is kind of a neat area and see about maybe doing something <clears throat> excuse me right up here what if we go up a little further I don't want to be too terribly far away from the admin station. Um, so we could do something maybe up here because now we have some room. Uh, maybe like up on this point here uh, to put a pad, a landing pad of sorts. Or we could, <clears throat> excuse me, we could just maybe carve a hole out here, right <clears throat> here, and then put a pad just outside of this area. I think maybe that's what we'll do. So if that's the case, um, let's. Whoa, this thing looks pretty silly without <laughs> without its wings on. <clears throat> um, yeah, actually, I'm just gonna plop it right down here for a second. And the first thing I want to do is I want to actually bore a hole into the side of the mountain um, to to set up the base. So um, yeah, let's cut the power here. I, I want to kind of work quickly though because that patrol vessel could potentially oh, <laughs> look at that the light from the uh, um, that light was was on the top of the fin and it's still there <laughs> I've gone what in the, what, what, what in the world's that thing that I can't talk 
uh, up on the thing. All right, so yeah, I don't know where that patrol vessel is. It could be on its way towards me. I'm not really sure how that, um, you know, the code works uh, with that AI. If it, if it, it, you know, as soon as you log in or land on the planet, it comes after you. I'm not sure, but I don't want to take any chances with it either. So we're going to go ahead and punch a hole in the side of this mountain <clears throat> big enough to, you know, get, <clears throat> get set up with a base of some sort. Um, and what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably just going to go, you know, bore a small hole back here uh, far enough to put the core down and then bring blocks back out and put the pad down so that I can then spawn in the ladybug and use the laser drills to finish boring out um, the uh, the mountainside here. So that's kind of the general plan. And um, you know what I did too? I, I took off and, and didn't, I didn't grab any more drill charges. I can't take me anywhere, I'll tell you what. <laughs> okay, well, we should have enough to get, you know, to get started. Um, and then, you know, get that, uh, get enough of a pad down that we can then uh, get the ladybug going with the drills. And one, you know, once I get that set up, then you know, then we'll this will move very quickly. Okay. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm just gonna bore a hole back here a ways and get that down. And I'll bring you back when I get to the point where I'm ready to spawn the ladybug in and uh, keep digging this. Okay. So I'll be back in just a little bit. All right, we're back. And uh, basically, like I said, I just bored a hole back here with the hand drill, put the core down. Uh, so it's a little ways in the mountain. And protected from drone attacks and so forth and then uh, we laid this pad down here and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pop down the uh, ladybug so let's go into here let's use the spawn option and we'll drop her right down here right in the center boom excellent and then the uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove these mechanical drills just like we did in Alpha 7, and we're going to replace them with the laser drills. And then this makes a very inexpensive but effective uh, mining hovercraft. Let's see if we can get the bottom one to go in all the way. All right, let's get these other ones in, I guess, first. That one, yeah. All right, let's get in the ship and we'll kind of pull it so the front end of it's hanging out over the edge of the pad there. And then we should be able to get those other ones on. Oh, looks like I got, this one's not in all the way either. Let's redo this one here. Nope, still not in all the way. Third time's a charm, huh? Okay, so get all... There you go. There you go. And since we're actually going to have, you know, we're building an, a real outpost here, um, we'll just keep the ladybug intact instead of taking it apart, which was what my original plan was going to be. Okay, let's fill her up with fuel. I do have more fuel in the, in the J-Jet. And let's get our camera down and out a little bit. And I just want to move it so it's just hanging over the edge of this so I can get kind of underneath it. All right, and then slide. You gotta go back one more. Uh, you know what? Let's use the let's use the drone for this. There we go. Oh, and there. Okay, is everything even? It sure is. Perfect. Okay, let's run over here and grab ourselves some fuel. I'm just keeping my eye out for you know who. So far, so good. Uh, so we want to go into the uh, cargo box three. We got 14 Promethean packs in there. Um, now let me just make sure 
What do I have in here? This is, this is the rest of the stuff. Oh, I, I did bring some more Promethium ore, but that's going to be more for the, the base itself. Uh, but, you know, if we need to, we can get Promethium on the planet. But we also have uh, these 20 in reserve and have 90 promo there, too. So we're just going to use uh, these little guys for now. And uh, we'll go from there. And, yeah, I'll, I'll put these... I'll either use the filler tool and br bring the earth up there or put blocks under there. Uh, I only brought... A, a very small quantity of, of uh, reinforced concrete though uh, for the outside here so uh, we'll use normal concrete once we get inside the mountain. All right let's turn this thing on get back into this view get her turned around and then we're basically just going to bore out um, a hole that we can that will turn in then to our base so let's get down just a little bit off the pad here and we want to try and keep this you know somewhat level and you know I'm not intending to make this uh, real large either it's just you know just a very small outpost um, for us to use and I want to try and keep the entrance see I can't really get through there the stupid thing wants to keep talking which is kind of a pain in the neck what the hell? Yeah. Alright. We probably are going to have to take a, just a tad bit more off the top so we can scooch in there. Ah, oh, man, that looks terrible. Though. There. Let's try that. And we'll just build up around that with blocks. Okay, quit trying to block our uh, dock. Bleep. Okay. There. Now that we can kind of get in here, just pivot. But again, I want to try and keep it more or less on the same level. Bore out. It's kind of dipping down a little bit there. This is being a pain in the butt. <laughs> it's, the problem is I'm I'm too close to the to the docking pad, so it wants to the dock there. Okay, turn this way a bit. Carve some more of that out. There we go. I'm actually taking more material away from the front that I had intended, but you know, whatever. I don't have to do. What I should have done is I should have burrowed in further, like made a tunnel before I started widening it, but it's okay. This will do. This will do. Okay. I think that's probably good enough. Um, and so the idea is, you know, we're going to want to be able to, to bring this all the way in and park it inside here. Probably not the jet itself, though. Um, at least not right now. Uh, we'll see how things go. I might make it larger later. But I, I don't have, at this point, I don't have all the components to make like a big bay door and that sort of thing until we start doing the actual mining. So, uh, All right, so let's turn this off. And we'll go over here and grab all the rest of our parts, which is in this cargo box. Um, let's put these in here. We don't need those. Oh, you know what? Talk on it. I'm. Uh, <sighs> I need to go get some food, like immediately. So. Yeah, you know what? We better do that now because that was my last can of food. And I forgot to take the food out of the refrigerator of the small vessel and put it in my inventory before I logged off, so it all spoiled. So we're going to have to go hunt. So let's park this thing like way, way inside here. All the way back. And yeah, even down here is good for now. All right. And I think what I'm going to do also is let's, let me see something here. How many reinforced do I have left? Or armored, rather. I got, I've got that many left. Okay. See, we already got a drone over there probably working its way over here to come and get us. And it could potentially... 
to get inside here. So what I want to do is I want to create a wall uh, to block it off. Where'd that drone go? So let's go over three, I guess, that way. And we'll go three that way. Let's see. Whoop. Okay, bring that over to there. That can go that way. And then I think what we'll do is drag a row this direction. The purpose of this here is not to um, to seal anything at this point. It's just to you know basically protect the, the the hovercraft and the core and all that. If we happen to get attacked before we're ready to uh, go any further, let's put this in here too. Okay, and then I think the remaining, we only have 13 armored blocks left, but I'm going to, we're going to have to put a bay door here, just a small one though, so we'll, re, we'll recover some of these later. Um, but the rest will be for the pad here. So if we did one, two, three, four there, and one, two, three, four, five there. And you know, just maybe, just for aesthetic reasons, we could. Uh, yeah, I'll fix that later. We can make more um, armored concrete later once we start getting some resources too. Plasma drone. It does look like it's working its way over here, and rather quickly. Let's get over into the small vessel pronto and get up in the air fast. Get up, get some altitude, so it can't. See, that was that was quick. All right, I'm gonna show you what for, man. Okay, is that the only one that was working its way over here to get us? Looks like it. Okay, so we've got to go get food. Like, that is number one priority. We're just going to fly around in the jet here, even though we still don't have the wings on it. And we're going to grab some food. Also, that's my timer. Um, so, yeah, I think what I'll do, guys, is I'll end the episode here, and we're going to pick up right in the same exact spot in the next episode and continue on. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. hope you enjoyed uh, the episode. And if you did, hit that like button. And consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Um, come by and see us in Discord. Hang out in Discord and or uh, come and hang out on a live stream. You can find the links to my Discord and my Twitch channel in the About section of the YouTube channel. You guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.